Good day, friends. I am HL Mod Tech, and today I'm going to take you on a journey where we start learning about the design process, a design brief, and create our own awesome organizer. So, my friends, let's get cracking! Friends, this is a design brief, and we're going to make a pencil holder using this design brief, and I'm going to walk you completely through it. Later, I'm going to give you a challenge where you have to look at the design brief, fit the specifications, and solve it yourself. This one, we're just going to do together. So the first thing is, our mission is to create a pencil holder for at least five pencils. You'll be designing using Tinkercad. The device must meet the following design specifications. Must easily hold five pencils, have a location for paper clips, and have your name on the front of it. Be prepared to explain why you made the choices you did. Keep track of the Tinkercad skills you learn so you can create more amazing projects on your own. Begin by completing the design process that is linked down below. Once finished, you may begin creating your awesome pencil holder using the video that I am creating right now. My friends, this is a design process. You can click and launch it. This is in Google Drawings. I am giving you the blank and we're gonna fill these in super quickly. When you get this blank file, I'd like you to change it so it has your initials on it. Mine are MDH, so I'm gonna put that there. Make sure you do your initials, not mine. Now, what is the problem we are solving? So you'll notice I deleted those words quick and I put we are building a pencil holder for at least five pencils. If there are more things that you're solving, you can add those in there. Notice I stretched this so it fit the way I wanted. You can adjust all of these. The next step is what research do you have to do to learn? Well, this one's super simple. All you have to add here is follow the video and master the slick skills. Later, you'll be able to do your own and solve real problems. This time, the research you're doing is watching this video by me. The next step is we need to complete what are the rules, needs, or limits of our process. I quickly split my screen so you can see this better, but remember we have to have five pencils, paper clips, and our name. Now that we've got that done, we can start with the developing a prototype. Before we do that though, let me show you how to format this so it looks a little cooler. You can fill these with cool colors to give them a little bit more pizzazz. Notice the steps have arrows all the way through. We're doing the research, the requirements, and now we're going to do a prototype. And then after that, we would test it. And if it works, we were happy. If it didn't work, we'd back up and try again. At any point, we can go back up and we can repeat any steps as we try and create our perfect project. Real quickly, you can also change the background. Friends, you can keep making this more and more amazing. We do need to add a title to it, and we're going to do that with the text button. Notice when you click and drag, you can make the text button however you want. I'm going to type the word pencil holder, because that is what we are creating. I'm going to click somewhere else and pick font. Notice I've got some recent fonts I like. You can go to the more fonts and look for anything cool down in this list. I'm going to use lobster and tell it OK. It's kind of small, so I'm going to change the size to 24 or 30. I'm going to nudge it a little bit more towards the middle by grabbing these edges. And then I also want to change the color. Now because I went half screen, you got to find the more button, and here's the font color. This would have filled the whole box. And I want to pick a cool color for the back. I'm going to do a crazy yellow. I like that. Then I'll squeeze this down so it fits the right size. That, my friends, is how you do the design process, at least the first three chunks, before you go back and analyze what you created. So my friends, back in our design brief, you can now launch Tinkercad. When you first sign in, I choose sign in with Google. If your teacher has a classroom and a code, you can follow their steps for getting there. If you land on this screen, you can just click the Tinkercad dashboard to get back where we get to create our projects. And then on this screen, friends, we simply hit create new design. Now that we're in Tinkercad, let's click up here where the name is and change it. I'm going to name mine Pencil Organizer, and I'm going to put my initials after it so I can keep track of which file is which. When you're done, click down here on what is called the work plane. Remember, our goal is to make a pencil holder that has five pencils in it. And we want to learn basic skills. So our first skill is going to be using a tube. So grab a tube and drop it out on the screen. It has parameters that we can adjust 
and I'm going to tell you to take the radius and instead of 10 I want you to type 25 and press enter. Notice the shape gets much wider and it may be the right size to hold a pencil. We'll check that in a minute. If you'll look closely you'll notice that it only has 24 sides. Let's make it so it has 64 so it's rounded and let's make the walls a thickness of 2 and press enter. Let's change our view so we're looking at it from the front. You can see that it is not very high. It was only 10 millimeters high. Let's make it 70 millimeters high by dragging it up. And you could be perfect or just click the box, type 70, and press enter. Then let's look at it from the combination top edge or top corner, keeping that work plane towards the front though. Let's click on the color box and just pick a different color because it's fun to know how to do that. Let's take a peek from the top and you'll notice we do not have a bottom. Let's fix that quick by scrolling up and bringing out a cylinder and dropping it somewhere close to inside. This cylinder is 20 on the side. We are going to stretch it with a fancy trick. Hold down shift and stretch one of the corners and notice it grows the same amount on each side. Now remember our radius over here was 25, so if we make this 50 for a diameter, it'll actually fit exactly inside that. Notice it's not real round, and that's because we have to bump the sides up to 64. Let's look at it from that top front, and notice how thick it is. We only want this to be 2 millimeters thick. I'm going to click the white box, and then click this area, type 2, and press enter. Let's click on the blue one and for a moment make it transparent. So now we can see in. If we click and drag, we can select both those items and then choose the align tool. Align is awesome because it lets us line things up. I'm gonna click on the transparent blue cylinder and I'm gonna say I want it centered in this direction. Notice it's now in the middle and I want it centered in this direction. And of course we want it on the bottom. Those two shapes are exactly the way I want them, so now I can select them both, and we need to group them. They are officially one piece, and we have a cup that can hold at least one pencil. I'll prove that to you in a second, but first let's review. We have grouped an item. This would be how you ungroup it. We've also used a line. We have made something transparent. We have changed colors and combined some basic shapes. Now let me show you something super cool. If we hit the Tinkercad Basic Shapes button, we can switch to the Making It Home section and bam, there is a sharpened pencil that we can bring out and drop on our work plane. When you look at this shape, it has three rotation arrows. We want to pick a corner view so that it's easier to see this rotation handle. When you grab it, if the mouse is close to the pencil, it snaps to these tick marks. If you move away from it, it goes one degree at a time. We want to use the tick marks to get to a 90 degree angle. Then press the letter D and it'll drop to that work plane. It does not look like my pencil is going to stand up well, so I'm going to change that from 70 to 90. And I could have tried to move the handle to the perfect spot, but I kind of like typing them in the box. So with that adjusted, I'm now going to click outside and it goes back to being its grouped part. Let's put the pencil inside by dragging and selecting both items. When we hit align, we can tell it, hey, I want the pencil in the cup. I want it to be the middle on that side. Notice there were three dots to pick from. And I want it to be the middle on this side. And it already is the bottom there. If you wanted to be silly, you could do the top and it'd be poking through, but we want to put it on the bottom. And then when you click somewhere else, it goes away and we have just proven we can fit one pencil in our organizer. Now don't worry about the fifth pencil. I'm going to show you a cool way to do that in a little bit. Let's first use another new command. Click on your pencil and let's hide it. It still exists, but it is not in the way. We need to also switch back to basic shapes and I want this to have a cool sloped look. We're going to do that by bringing out what's called a whole box. 
I want you to hold down shift and stretch that till it's quite big. I don't care about the exact size, it just needs to be larger than this. Let's select those two items and let's do a line. Once again, let's align with the cup and we want it centered. And then we're going to lift it up. And I want to rotate it. Now this one, I'm just going to do 22 and a half degrees. So it's the first tick mark. If I get a long ways away, it goes one at a time. If I stay close, it's easy to find that 22.5. Now I want to take this shape and I want to use the arrow keys to nudge it to the front. If you're looking closely, it's got an angle that's going to slice through our cup. I'm also going to raise it up just a little bit so that I get to keep most of that height. I'm going to select the two of them and let's group them to see what we made. I like that, but I think I want to change it just a little bit. This time we're going to do ungroup and I'm going to take that and pull it down. I don't like what I just did, so I'm going to undo. Let's make sure I've only got that. And I'm going to pull it down so it cuts all the way through that back edge. Select them both and let's hit group again. And I do like that style and let's hit the light bulb to bring back that cool pencil and see what it looks like. I'm pretty impressed with that. So we've got a place for our pencils. Right now I just right click drag, which is the same as clicking on these spots or dragging this cube. Now let's add the cool paper clip holder. Let's do that with a featured shape. Let's use the soft box. When you bring the soft box out, let's try another fancy button called fit view to shape. Notice it pops us all the way in to its exact measurements. Let's type the numbers that we want because if you just stretch it, notice they get a little bit out of whack with the size of the wall. I'm going to use that undo or control Z to get that back. And we're going to do an X of 50. Notice that'll scooch out to the right. And we're going to do a Y of 40. So it's a rectangle. Let's change our height to 15. And we'll need to add a bottom, but right now we can take all three of these by selecting them and aligning them. And I want them to align to the middle of this. I'm not going to do any other buttons. I'm going to just use the arrow keys to nudge it in. That way it'll be connected when I'm ready to group it. We need to fill in a bottom here. Let's do that by going back to basic shapes and just bringing out a box. We need to take this box and give it a radius of five so it'll have rounded edges. We're going to just pull it in and change its height to two. Now let's hold down shift and stretch this till it fills out that box and then don't use the white handle because it goes in both directions. I'm going to do control Z. Just use the black handle to push that back in and then look at it from the top and make sure that it filled in every corner. I'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge it. Notice how it's too rounded. So let's back this up to three and see if that works. It is not poking out. It fills in the hole and we can now grab everything but the pencil. Notice I'm going to hide this and I'm going to select this and let's do a line and once again click the blue and say middle and then let's group them. If you want to have your separate colors which can make them look really cool, click on the solid color and turn on the multicolor option. That way you can have a really colorful project even though if you 3D printed it, it would really only be one color. If you want these two to match, you can double click and click on the red one and change it to the yellow or whatever color combination you prefer. Let's bring in the last piece, which is to create our name, and let's use the wedge. When you bring the wedge out, let's rotate it 180 degrees. So that way we have a sloped piece that's looking at us. 
I'm gonna move it towards the left edge and then I'm gonna take the black handle in the middle. Once again, I'm gonna fit view so you can see it better. This little handle, if you use this, it does two at once. I'm gonna undo that. Instead, I only wanna stretch it to the right. Notice how I made that number 50? That is what I was aiming for. I was lucky to get it and then I'm gonna keep the other numbers. I'm gonna use the arrow key to nudge it back so it's touching that shape. See how it cuts in a little bit? And then we are gonna use an amazing tool called the work plane. When you click the work plane and then move over your slope shape or any shape, you can pick where your next part lands. The part we're gonna use is the text. We're gonna have it land on that blue shape. Click up where it says text, backspace, and type your name. My name is Mike. I'm gonna pick a color that I think is cool. I'm gonna do that gray. Notice that it is super thick. I'm looking at that with a right click orbit, or you can look at it from underneath. We are gonna change that to a thickness of two and press enter. And then use the black handles, not the white handles, the black handles to simply shrink it into place just like that. You can stretch it up a little bit, whatever you need to make it look more cool. When you're happy, click your work plane button and click out here in the blue space to make it back to the normal work plane. Let's take those two pieces. This time I'm gonna do shift click. So when I click one, hold down shift and click the other, notice it says two shapes and I'm going to group them. Once again, it changes to one color, but I'm gonna do solid multicolor so they both show up. Let's quickly hit that light bulb to bring back our pencil. And let me show you how easily you can prove that five pencils would fit. If you hit duplicate, there are two pencils in the same spot. If you use the arrow key, you can nudge them into space and prove that they are arranged so that two fit. Now watch this. I'm gonna grab both of those and do control D. And this time I'm gonna pull them towards me. So now there are four. Let's look at it from a corner. And just to prove that I can get my fifth, or you can prove more if you want. As a matter of fact, let's do six. I'm gonna do control D, which once again, that was the shortcut. And they tell you shortcuts when you hover. And I'm gonna use the arrow keys to move it this way. So we have made a holder for paper clips, pencils, and we put our name on it. Alrighty friends, so that is our pencil holder that has at least five pencils, our name, and a paperclip holder. And at the same time, you learned a ton of awesome basic skills. Friends, I hope you had a blast with this, and if you did, you can check out my YouTube channel. There are many, many more lessons that you can follow as you continue to hone your skills so that you're ready for any challenge your teacher may throw at you. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.